kilometers to the west of Pradeep's house. So Pradeep's house is taken at the east end, Devendra is west. Uh, at 10 a.m. they both leave. Under which of the following situations, the minimum distance between the two. Now minimum distance is always going to be the straight line distance to it, right? Uh, between the two would be 40. Now the scenario. So you have to evaluate different scenarios. The first scenario is Devanand walks east. So Devanand would walk east uh, and uh, the speed is 3 kmph. Whereas uh, Pradeep walks south. Walks south at the rate of 4 kilometers per hour. Now, in this situation, it's not going to be very apparent what is the distance, how the distance is going to behave, right? So, for example, the first time when they start the distance is the straight. After some time, uh, Devendra has reached a little ahead, Pradeep has reached a little ahead, and the distance between them now will be this straight line. Pradeep has reached a little, uh, sorry, Devendra a little more to the right, Pradeep a little more to the bottom. And you might say that he is faster, so he'll be covering more distance. Yes, and this is the straight line. But uh, uh, what is this? Is this distance reducing? Is it increasing? What is the minimum value? If you want to be perfect students, you can take a few values and check what happens after some hours or so on. Like for example, what happens after how many hours do I take? Now this is interesting. Uh, what you should do is, let's say 10 hours, I don't even know. Why 10 hours? 10 hours just seems a good enough thing. So 3, at, he will come 30, he will travel something like 30 uh, or, or, or he will travel 40. So I just want to check. So in 10 hours, this guy will travel 30. Okay, he will reach a point 30 and this guy will travel 40. He will reach 40. Now the straight line distance between them, how much will it be? Let's see. So this, this is a right angle triangle. One side is 40. This will be 30 minus, uh, sorry, 50 minus 30. That is 20. So you can find this out using Pythagoras, right? So Pythagoras is going to make it what? 1600 plus 400. That is going to be 2000. Root of 2000 is uh, 100 into 20. 100 ka root will be 10. 20 will make it 2 root 5, it's going to be 20 root 5. Okay, so if you know 20 root 5, 20 root 5 is going to be 20 into 2.236 and so on. Oh, so it is instead of 40, it has now become only uh, 44 kilometers, it is reducing. So you can try some hit and trial like this, but it's never going to give you a perfect thing. So you need some mathematical picture there. You can try a second scenario. Second scenario, Devendra walks south. So this time Devendra is walking south uh, at a speed of 3. And uh, Pradeep is walking east. Pradeep is not walking west, yeah, mind you. Pradeep is walking east, okay, at a, uh, 4 kilometers per hour. Uh, now, and uh, so here it should be apparent, students, that the distance between them start one and after some time the distance between them after some time he's gone to the right okay after some time here he got further to the right here it should be apparent that the distance is going to increase students more than 50 only the first distance is 50 and immediately after that it will be more than 50 you don't need a lot of mathematical expression here Right. So the second one is the minimum would be 50 and immediately after that the distance is only going to increase between them. Okay. I'm, I'm reasonably so. You might have a little doubt what after if he just goes a little down he would still have gone to the right. Right. So the horizon, do you understand the horizontal distance between them will always be 50 or more than 50 the horizontal distance between them at any point will be more than or equal to 50 plus there's a vertical distance that will be added. So the oblique distance is definitely going to be more than 50 students at point, right? So if you want me to verbalize a mathematical relation here. Yeah, third, third is a very easy one. Devanand, that is D, walks west. He walks west, Pradeep walks east. Now this is a no-brainer. Obviously the distance between them is going to increase. So if at all there is an answer, it is one. But I don't have the options. It might also be possible that none. Anyway, there's a nice maths that you can do here. So let's uh, see how do we do the maths bit. Let's say after T hours. After T hours, Devanand would have covered 3T. Uh, Pradeep would have covered 
40 right and now i have i want this uh, straight line distance between them right so let me draw one more so that it becomes a little more bold so that you know now can you get a mathematical relation for this and this is the learning from this question how do you use that right so the horizontal distance is going to be 50 minus 3t the vertical distance is 40 obvious so the oblique distance is and now i am writing it in terms of d square okay d square is 50 minus 3t whole square plus 40 square right when i open this out this is going to be 2500 minus 300 t plus 90 square and 16 would make it 25 t square you can take a 25 common and i'll be left with a t square minus 12 t oh sorry plus 25 is taken common, right? So this is 100. Now, this is a quadratic expression. The minimum of this can easily be found, students, right? The minimum of just the quadratic expression, right? Now, uh, is nothing but the negative of the D. D is 144 minus 400. That is minus 256 by 4A. That is the minimum. Right, so negative negative becomes plus. This is 2 raised to 8, 2 square, 2 raised to 6, 64. So this is going to be 64 students. Right. So d square is 25 into 6. So the minimum value of d, I'm taking the square root also and I'm taking the minimum value is going to be 5 into 8, 40. So indeed at one point of time, the minimum value of the distance between them is going to be 40 students, right? So under scenario one, the minimum would be 40.